Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this chevron pattern in Gravit Designer and actually I will show you the step-by-step -step process how to design any pattern in Gravit Designer. So let's start with the algorithm itself. So you need to grab the object that you want to repeat inside your pattern. I'm working with the predefined icons that you can find on the library. I just grabbed this cookie, but it could be a photo, it could be a raster file, anything. Now you need to create the mask. You need to mask the shape. I want to grab the rectangle and draw a rectangle around this cookie. The mask itself controls the amount of space you want to provide in between these cookies. So if you want uh, tighten things up uh, you need to create a small rectangle if you want a lot of space in between your cookies you need to create um, a pretty large rectangle around your cookie uh, I want to uh, create something in between so I choose the middle rectangle put it on top then select everything with ctrl a command a let's uh, align the them vertically and finally let's create the mask with the uh, mask with the shape ctrl shift m command shift m now when we see the uh, our mask let's create the shape uh, you want to fill with the pattern uh, i'm gonna put it on the bottom of our layer stack it's just a rectangle that covers all the canvas in my case uh, let's uh, change the fill to this red and you see the uh, awkward masking problem in uh, Gravity Designer, it maintains this uh, white fill for, for some of the reasons, so we need to just delete this fill. Now when you're sure that uh, your cookie is opposite the transparent background, just copy it with Ctrl C, Command C. Uh, return to your rectangle, um, select it and go to the fill dialog box. Select from this drop down texture fill and now click paste to paste your design. This is how you can create the pattern in Gravit Designer. Now let's focus on the uh, Chevron patterns. Let's start with the, our shape. So grab the polygons and create this hexagon. I want to put it vertically so it has this angle on the apex and I want to duplicate it and put it a little bit on the bottom uh, to duplicate the shapes in Gravity Designer hold alt or option and shift to push it on the to move it on the straight line uh, now uh, I have the duplicate on bottom and my main shape on top. Let's select both of them and head over to the boolean shape operators, uh, subtract. Subtract both of them to create a compound shape and now I want to Ctrl Shift P, Command Shift P to create a pass. I want to secure all of my manipulation with the passes uh, because the best way to work in Gray Designer is to work with the passes to avoid all of these bugs around the compound shapes. So let's uh, fill there so let's give this chevron a color and create a rectangle uh, for our mask I want to really tighten things up I nearly repeat the bounding box for the chevron itself it's important if you want to put them one by one let's now put it on the top and select everything again ctrl shift m command shift m to select the mask I want to size it down a little bit and uh, again delete this awkward uh, fill, a uh, white fill. Now let's select the object we want to fill the, with the chevron pattern. In my case it will be ellipse. Let's give it a fill, go to the uh, first copy this object. Uh, now go to the fill, texture fill and paste. And we already have this chevron pattern applied in Gravity Designer in just a few steps. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, go to tutorials.net to see the all uh, to see all the algorithm of creating the pattern step by step, and don't forget to join Gravity Designer tutorials group and Gravity Designer users group. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.